We're in the beautiful Pensacola, Florida here at Dive Pros. Tonight is our first night of our scuba certification class. We're about to go get fitted for some goggles, snorkels, some fins and booties, everything to get us started for an awesome class. So won't you come along with us and see what it takes to get your scuba certification. My name is Curtis Freeland. I'm a dive instructor here at Dive Pros and I'm also the sales manager of the store. Well, uh, getting certified to dive involves you know, several components to the training. Uh, there's your academic component where you're going to learn the important science and safety of diving, learn about the equipment and, and what each piece of gear does for us uh, as far as helping us uh, while we're underwater. Uh, the confined water or pool training where uh, we'll introduce you to basic dive skills as well as start to uh, get comfortable in the equipment. Um, the open water training dives are where we actually go out and, and do some diving, uh, practice those skills that we've learned in the pool, and uh, apply them. Well, the first step in beginning your dive training is, is completing the academic work, which nowadays can generally be done one of two ways. Either, either through the e-learning platform or with the traditional learning method, you know, going home, reading through your books, uh, completing the knowledge reviews and watching videos. And so we do offer both methods. Um, so orientation, kind of reviewing over the materials, uh, making sure they understand the, the things, the concepts that have been covered in the e-learning program. Um, of course, we have a little review quiz to make sure every student has has actually done the work themselves and, and not had someone do it for them. Um, again, primarily meeting the students, filling out our, our basic paperwork that we have to do as far as from a liability standpoint, uh, the student record file which, which tracks their progress throughout the training, the, the quick review quiz, and, and just uh, kind of a basic introduction. I, the second phase of training is the confined water diving, you know, the pool training where we're going to get you in a very controlled environment um, to introduce you to the equipment and get you comfortable in the gear, uh, teach you the basic dive skills that you need uh, to take care of yourself while you're down there. Um, first thing we start off with in the confined water training is the swim evaluation and swim test. Uh, just basically kind of checking out to make sure that people have some sort of water watermanship level um, before we start the dive training. You know, typically to begin with, the first thing we like to do is just go down and relax and breathe. You know, once we get into the scuba equipment and everybody's got all this new gear on, you know, we're going to start nice and slow, just go down and practice our, our normal relaxed breathing. And as we continue on, we start introducing some of the, the skills such as clearing and recovering a lost regulator, you know, uh, clearing water from the mask, uh, and so on. Yeah, once we build up a lot of confidence and comfort in the confined water of the pool, you know, then, you know, assuming the student and the instructor feels ready, the, the student's ready to head out to the open water dives, which is, you know, of course, for most people, the, the exciting part of the training. Uh, kind of what we signed up for. So um, with the open water dives, you're going to be out there somewhere off the beach typically or off the boat depending on the structure of the class. And uh, we're going to do generally four to five dives with each class, uh, do some diving. You know, we will be practicing, repracticing the skills that you've learned in the pool, um, putting them into application as we cruise along, um, checking out the scenery.
Yeah, so the most important thing at the conclusion of your dive training is you feel comfortable, confident, and competent in all your diving skills. So the first step that I would recommend for someone that's uh, interested in beginning their path to certification to becoming a, a scuba diver would be to drop by and visit Dive Pros. We'll, we'll show you around, we'll uh, show you our facility, our classrooms, our pool, uh, and kind of walk you through the steps that it's going to take. I mean, we've just talked about, you know, the phases of training, the academics where we learn about the, the science and safety of diving. Uh, the confined water training where we begin, you know, getting comfortable in the water and then the open water dives. Um, so we'll kind of walk you through those steps and tell you what each one's going to be like. And we do have several options for training from, you know, our e-learning courses to our longer courses that use traditional in-classroom academics to private classes for people that don't want to be in larger groups. So we can help you decide which, which method of training is going to be best for you. Um, it's always a good idea as well to make sure you're in good physical and mental fitness for diving. So if you have any potential conditions which may uh, be a contraindication to diving, that we can give you the uh, medical form for you to go seek uh, physician's advice. Um, it has pretty simple you know, yes, no answers. And, uh, your physician can help you decide if diving is something that's going to be safe for you. Um, other than that, you know, there's only some basic equipment which each diver needs to have to get started. Uh, we supply most of the, the expensive stuff, the major uh, purchases, uh, mass snorkel and fins. And, you know, snorkeling is a great way to kind of build your way up into scuba diving because it uses those leg muscles that we're going to use while we dive when you're, you're swimming with fins. And, this kind of gets a, a comfort level build up in the water. So yeah, that's what I would recommend as far as beginning uh, down the road to certification. Well, I certainly had a blast uh, diving with the Beach Billy crew. Uh, you guys were a lot of fun, did a fantastic job. Um, look forward to hopefully more diving and uh, doing some different types of adventure down the road. Yeah, again, my name is Curtis. and. Uh, if you want to get certified and come dive with us, come on down to Dive Pros and, and we'll get you started. We'll do it right.